everyone. Welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 12 chat. Oh, hi. Hello. It's, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. It's episode 21, which oh my means goodness. Uh, this only eight more episodes after this one. Maybe. <laughs> right. So we don't know for sure. They haven't announced the finale date for sure yet, have they? No. But we're just going off of guesses. Yeah. Previous years. Mm -hmm. So last time Kayla was evicted. Uh oh. It was sad. I felt bad for her. But there have been some real brutal evictions this season. She got snooked. <laughs> she got got. She got <laughs> she got snaked. Yeah. And there was no new HOH. That's par for the course this season. <laughs> there have been so few weeks where we actually find out who the HOH is on a Wednesday night. Well, we do find out uh, who the HOH is tonight. And guess what? It was a spawn con. Oh, of course. But we're not there yet. All right. Dougie's a liar, and the show is selling him out as a liar. The show even said that he's a liar. He's lie. What did they lie. say? The Himalayas? <laughs> the Himalaya. <laughs> yeah. Dang, you know you're a liar when the show is calling you out like that. You know you're... <laughs> Spicy's still hoping to go to the end with the liar, though. Well, good luck with that, because he's done with you. <laughs> he's yeah. ready to throw you in the trash, basically. Yeah. So she needs to realize that and move on. Well, you know who's ready to go to the end with Tola and Anthony? That is Lexus. Yeah, I love how she framed this. Like, I would love for Hot Chocolate to go far into this game. But, but they're like, done. I can't trust yeah. the girls in the Alliance, which is, like, most of the Alliance. Yeah. So she says that Anthony and Tola have been there for her this whole time, whereas the girls are only there for her when it benefits them. Girl, they've only been there for you because of your association with Matt. I mean, there was the hope that, you know, hot chocolate was going to be a solid alliance or, or at least hotter chocolate, the girls, right? Mm -hmm. But then she started spending all of her time with Matt, not reporting back information, and the whole thing fell apart. Yeah. All right. So it's time for the HOH comp. SponCon! Oh, my goodness. 80s workout wear. <laughs> that was not the sponsor, though. <laughs> no. What the hell was up with Todd's outfit? They really did do him dirty. He had on a crop top. He had on the short shorts. But they weren't like tight short shorts. They were like baggy wide short weird. shorts. Yeah, I don't know. Like little Todd got into his mommy's laundry basket or something. And there was some weird stuff going on there. Yeah, that one was kind of a flop. But it was fun. I think it was... Uh, he was in danger of losing some of his genitalia out of those shorts. Oh, no. Wardrobe malfunction. So, anyway, this competition <laughs> was all about balance. This yes. definitely had a survivor feel to it for me. This, I feel like, was uh, the replacement for the competition where you got to keep the ball. Mm, like, rolling. you got to ro run back and forth to keep the ball like you would. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it up on the track and then catch it and bring it back. This one is much less strenuous than that, but it definitely requires the same amount, if not more, concentration. Those hips don't lie. Yeah, you had to balance a ball on this almost like Arc a seesaw track. type thing. Yeah. And you were like hooked up to it. So like if you went one way or Your the other. Your hips were hooked up. That's how you adjust it. Yeah. To make sure it stays on the track. Yeah. So... Also, progressively harder balls. Like, you start off with a beginner ball. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can't handle the the truth. Yeah. The, the bowling ball. Yeah. Uh, so, it got harder as it went on, but... They only switched balls once. Once, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. From still... the starter ball to the bowling ball. <laughs> From the block to the top. <laughs> there you go. All right, so... <laughs> There's also a an extra reward. A for secret this. reward for You're not infinity. just gonna get H O H. You also get another reward, which Spun we'll get to. Money would have been nice too, but I think the other reward was pretty sick. No, but I mean like money and that. Mm. Don't get too greedy. I know. <laughs> All right, and also there's a punishment. The first three to drop are gonna be on slop. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, Spicy did not want to win this, and she threw it, and she made it very obvious that she was throwing it. She was all like, oh, my God. Oh, she threw yeah. it in the most obvious way possible. 
Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> I mean, she was still in there for, I think it was like 20-something minutes by the time she dropped out. But she was like, nope, I can't be winning this. I gotta get out of here. So she was the first one out. She's on slop. That wasn't even entertaining. That was just annoying. <laughs> it was a bit of extra. Would you say opinion. it was spicy and the most extras? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, Bailey was out second. She did not throw it. She really wanted to win this, and she just couldn't pull it off. No. Then Lexus was out next. I don't even... Was it Lexus or was it Anthony? I the don't know. The stream was a little bit choppy tonight. Um, we don't know. It's not anybody's in. fault. No. Heather does amazing work at Video Brothers, yes. so thank you, Heather, as always. It was not anything she had I don't know over. when Anthony went out, whether it was before Lexus or after. Yeah, we're not sure now. But, but he was out, so One of them on slop. We don't know which one. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was the, the first three. Oh, maybe it is Anthony then. All right. Well, it came down to Todd versus Tola in the end. Mm -hmm. And Tola was all, like, trying to make a deal. Todd was like, no, I'm solid. Yeah. So, um... Then they switched it to the bowling balls. And Todd just couldn't handle the truth. No, and it was, like, over two hours. It was, <gasps> like, two really? plus was hours it? at that point. Yeah, I think it was closer to two and a half, if I remember correctly. Wow. So Tola won HOH. Mm-hmm. So he's he, all like, let's go. Oh, I can't stand the let's go this season. I know. Let's go any season. It's been for years. No more let's go. Can we and, get something new? And it's on Amazing Race this season, too. With it's the, everywhere. With the pilots, and I'm just like, no, stop. Please stop. <laughs> let's not go. So <laughs> let's stay. <laughs> so Tola was celebrating with Anthony and Lexus because that's who he's working with. Those are his two close buds. Whenever sure. anybody wins, they go up to the freaking dump room, the bathroom. The dump room. <laughs> and they're like, let's celebrate in, in the uh, feces room. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. So Anthony tells Spicy, I gotcha. She's very nervous about Tola being HOH because she is terrified that she's going to hit the block, whether it's initially or backdoor. I think she's thinking more it would be a backdoor. Well, it's all up to Anthony, so. Well, she feels like if she even touches that block, she's out of here. So she's asking Anthony, like, please work your magic for me with Tola. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. But on the inside, he's like, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I could do something good. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see Tola's HOA true. Ah! I like wow. his dog plushie. His wife is super hot. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous. That's what they said. Uh, Tola really sold the winner's outfit, too. He was working it. He was the most extra. Yep. All right, uh, so Tola and Todd, or Tad, have a chat. Todd is very concerned here. He's like, I'm not uh, going up on the block, right? He must have asked that like at least 10 times in. But like over days. Well, in the last digital daily we saw. Yeah. So like one day. Okay. Well, I mean, he couldn't stop asking and it was like getting to be too much. Well, like... I mean, that kind of is going to be a negative after a bit because then it's going to make the HOH think like, why is this person so nervous that I'm going to put them up? Like, did they do something? Are Should they I be putting me? them up? Yeah, so I think he needs to tone that down a bit. Yeah, so Tola's target is actually Avery. He has made that very clear since last week, so. But Todd may be a replacement. He might. Tola did admit, yeah, so if Avery does come down, I might have to put you up on the block, meaning like, I'm going to put you up. <laughs> And you'll probably go home. I mean, he didn't say that. But, but... that was understood. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, Tad. All right. So then Anthony and Lexis are talking about the nominations, and they figure it's probably going to be Avery and Bailey. Correct. Yes. Uh, and Anthony's feeling pretty good about this week because he knows he has a lot of influence over Tola. Right. So he's also thinking maybe this is the time that I need to take a shot at Spice. You know how spicy he's all like nervous that if she were to ever go against Anthony, like, she won't be able to hang out with the other alum mm -hmm. nigh <laughs> anymore. Spice, uh, Anthony's ready to throw her in the trash. Apparently, it doesn't go both ways. He doesn't seem to be worried about that at all. He's no. like, whatever, I'm gonna play my game. Yeah. So, yeah, he was saying even if, um, he doesn't necessarily want Spicy to go this week, but he feels like he wants to start laying the groundwork mm -hmm. so that she can go soon. And I think that right. even if um, Tola does want Spicy out this week, Anthony would be like, yes, let's do that. Let's take that opportunity. Right. What did you think of the Anthony 
Tola chat where Anthony was like asking Tola questions and he was like, well, what do you think about this? And then when Tola got the answer wrong, Anthony was like, oh my God. Yeah. So Tola was all like, I'm targeting Avery. And Anthony was like, well, let's look at the bigger picture here. Who is Avery's number one? Uh, I don't know. Bailey? No. No. (laughs) Who is Bailey's number one? Uh, Todd? No. (laughs) He basically has to be like, you should target Spicy. Yeah. (laughs) Tola was not picking up on these hints, these clues that were being dropped. So, yeah, Anthony definitely seems open to Spicy going, whether it's this week or the next. He's really got to spoon feed him all of these moves like a little baby. I do think that Tola could definitely be convinced by Anthony to take out Spicy if the uh, shot arises with the veto. I think Tola could be convinced by Anthony to throw himself in the trash. (laughs) It's possible. All right, so it's time for Tola's secret reward from well, wait. Infinity. There's also Bailey. Oh. Bailey had a chat with Spicy. And I didn't want to talk about that because I can't believe that she would want to cut Todd. Basically, she's saying she does not want Todd to go necessarily, but it's probably going to be either her, Todd, Avery, or Spicy leaving this week. But she would be okay with Todd going. <sighs> Yeah, she would rather keep her trio of ladies intact than see than keep Todd. The ladies and... that were ready to throw you in the trash? Seriously, they are ready to cut you, girl. Keep Todd. Oh, it's so hard to watch. All right, now Tola's secret reward. Secret reward. His, his eternal reward. Oh, my God. This was a sick reward. So he walks into the infinity room. He's told to report there. And who is standing there waiting for him, looking so good? Kevin looked great. (laughs) It's Kevin. Kevin Jacobs. But why couldn't it be Andrew? (laughs) Andrew Gross. (laughs) Why? Kevin. I'm so happy that Kevin was on. He is like one of my all-time favorite winners. He is my all-time favorite winner. Not like my all-time favorite winner. For Canada or for all? For Canada. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could say that for Canada. Yeah, but one of for For all all the franchise. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so they have a strategy chat, but it must be conducted inside the infinity. (laughs) Fun. Yeah. (laughs) I can get behind this. Yes. And it was, um, did you get the feeling that Tola did not... um, Take in what Kevin was saying? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I like to play with cards. Yeah, I feel Kevin's like Kevin died a little just bit on the like, inside. <laughs> what Kevin, have I told you? Kevin was basically telling him, even if you don't land the shot that you're hoping to right now, you mm-hmm. can do something else that's going to help you get further to the end. And he was talking about how Big Brother is a zero-sum game. So, like, whenever anybody gets closer to winning, somebody else is getting further away from it. So right. you need to put yourself in a position where you're the one getting closer and somebody else is getting further away from and it. And everybody who's won has been through adversity in the yes. game. Yes. So... I feel like he was trying to signal, like, maybe Avery's kind of, like, a weak move here and you should do something else, but... You think that's what he was saying? I think that's part of it. It could be. But I don't think Like, Tola do you think listening. he was wanting to say, just, like, trick out Anthony. Or <laughs> trick <spicy>. out Spicy. <laughs> My hands say, trick out Anthony. Yeah, well... Yeah. It was a lot of fun to see him come back, so... I'm glad we were treated yes, to that. Yes, it was a treat. <laughs> I don't know how much Tola got out of it, but we had fun. All right, so Tola and Bailey are having a chat, and he's basically like, uh, you're going up. Uh, he is basically reciting the lines that Anthony have given has given yeah. to him. Let me stick my Hot hand in the, in the ventriloquist doll here. You need to put up Anthony. No, not Anthony. <laughs> no, he was saying You need to put up Bailey Tell Bailey She's going up on the block But she's going to be so safe blah, Tell her blah, blah. she's pretty No one's going to vote her out <laughs> yeah. But you cannot make that promise Because you don't know What's going to happen with this veto You don't know that Yes But Bailey was like Seriously Can you guarantee that I won't be going? Yes, I can guarantee it I have a backup Well I have a backup to the backup he does not reveal, sorry, he does not reveal to Bailey who would be going up. He did tell Anthony earlier that it would be Todd, which is like, ugh, really? 
that's what well, that's what you're gonna do but um he even calls in anthony at one point to reassure bailey mm-hmm. that she will be safe up on the block that was just so sus to the right re- if i was in that house and he called uh anthony and to talk to my nominee mm-hmm. well i remember avery saying on the digital daily on friday like oh that's kind of weird that tola anthony and bailey were all talking yeah. together like what's up with that so exactly. that was freaking her out she picked up on that yeah. But, yeah, Anthony was basically like, I am I would vote for you to stay. Todd would vote for you to stay. And she was like, do you think Spicy would keep me over Avery? And mm, he yes. was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She would not. I don't know. She would it's not. Tough to say. Uh, so Tola brings Todd to Wendy's for his oh. birthday. That was nice. Yeah. Todd got a nice meal on his birthday. He got a Baconator. <laughs> Yes. And the server, the Wendy server, was Tola's wife. We Yay! I feel like it was insane that Tola was like, I want a veto and I want an HOH. Like, she knows. She's been watching. Like, don't you want to hear about your kid or something? Yeah. I don't know. But I mean, we didn't see the whole thing. No, we didn't. And he was very excited to see her. It was very sweet, for sure. Yes. They seem uh, very much in love. Yeah. Good for them. People will say they're in love. All right, so... Can you tell we just watched Oklahoma? Yes. Uh, Todd has another meeting. Well... Are you putting me up? Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm not. As an initial nominee, at least. We don't know what's going to happen with the veto, but Todd is very happy to hear that he will not be going up right now. Right. Well, we'll see tomorrow, but it's time for the noms and avery is the first nom Mm -hmm. because she's taken two shots at him already and missed both times to be fair he wasn't the target and tola does not miss a yikes yikes but he also tried to play it up like bailey his other nominee was also a target which she's not she's a pawn right at least for now And he said, you've been coming after me all season. I felt like he was a little playful here in his speech with Bailey. Mm -hmm. And she was all just like. (laughs) And he's like, well, I got HOH first. So get on the block. Uh, uh. I don't know. (laughs) These two have come a a long way. Yeah, (laughs) these two have come a long way. And you remember how much. Bailey despised Tola in the first week. She was um, crying about how much she couldn't stand him. Do you remember how much everyone despised Tola in I the beginning? I do remember that. <laughs> Except for Anthony and Spicy? Yeah, it was wild. And now look how, look where he is. So Great. It's crazy, but yeah, uh, Avery is his number one target right now. We'll see what happens with that veto, though. I'm, I'm wondering who Kevin is is uh picking for the season i don't know i also uh, this just popped into my head we forgot to mention while tola tola was talking to anthony about his plans for the week he was like if we can get out avery i'll win all the competitions the oh rest my of the god season. Uh, what so avery is the only thing standing in his way keeping him from winning all of the competitions <laughs> like what dude come on delulu completely <laughs> What the hell? I know. But anyway, that's where we're at. So leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. (laughs) And until tomorrow when we find out who is the the POV winner. Hopefully. Yeah. Much Much love. love. Bye.